Hey dudes, what's going on? Lost the Seal here, and I'm here with a game called Pirate or Pirate F Sub Heart. It is a dating sim, apparently, and I kind of figured I'm gonna play it for some reason. It was cheap on Steam, so I got it, and I know nothing about it, and I don't think I've ever played a dating sim before, and I thought it might be funny. Okay, let's start. Oh god, um, how do I do things? Ari, uh, that's impossible. You're not even trying anymore. Kichiro is saying, that's right, you win again. I guess I have to do voices. Even though he is the crown prince, my brother Kichiro, Kichiro doesn't often win at word games with me. Nobody does. Uh, Ari, of course. You say that you like there was another possible outcome. Uh, there, there always is, Ari. I don't know who is who. They just kind of went into the fucking game. As if. Kichiro sighs and shakes his head at me in disappointment. So, Kichiro is this guy, and Irie is this guy. This girl, with a really short skirt. Okay, cool. Thanks, dating sims. Kichiro, sister, there is more to life than just winning every competition you dream up. I know that, there's also failing. In case you haven't noticed, that's not something I do. What a fucking bitch, Irie. You only win because there's nobody here to challenge you. You wouldn't survive outside the palace walls for one week. Ah, uh, that sounds like a challenge to me. You're wrong. What? Their eyes are incredibly green. Uh, the idea is so brilliant. I'm surprised I didn't think of it first. For the last 17 years, the only challenges I've been presented have been instructors, servants, and grumpy Kichiro. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Ari, uh, you, you say you can't survive outside the walls? I say I can. So here's a contest. For one week, I'll attend a normal average high school. If I come home crying about it, you win. If I don't, I win. You have to be joking me. Translations. Okay. Backing out? Maybe it's my charming smile or the lure of a contest he foolishly thinks he can win. But Kichiro lent, relents and hangs his head. If it wasn't for me thinking that you need this, I wouldn't even consider accepting it. I'll talk with father and see to setting up. I uh, remember, Kajiro, it has to be completely normal. No sending spies or influencing the locals. That's cheating. If I did something like that, you wouldn't learn the lessons you so desperately need. Okay. Um, and what's that? What could there possibly be? That I don't know! You'll see. Okay. Pirate Heart! Oh. These are different. <sighs> I guess it's, I guess it's loading. Um, oh, I had to click. Okay. My name is Irene Ram Ramono, uh, the cute, talented daughter of Emperor Ramono. Today is my first day in public school as a regular peasant. Fucking peasant. Um, Father Nelly had a heart attack when he heard that I wanted to be, be educated for a week on the outside, but Kachira managed to convince him. I guess that's why we call him the diplomatic one. <laughs> I am content to simply be the brilliant one. Fucking bitch. Um, there's something nice about walking to school in such pleasant weather. Father always had the instruction instructors brought me to me. I'm confused by what I'm saying. Um, I'd spent hours in that stuffy room with those crutchety old professors. Um, she doesn't look like she's outside, but that's fine. The only breaks I'd get from the dull room would be when I want to go outside for physical training. Being able to play outside with the servants and my coaches was the best part of the day. I clutched my book bag against my chest tightly. This is going to be so much fun. All those hours of cramming are going to pay off when I show these commoners what I'm made of. Secretly, I love studying and spending time in my and learning new things. You never know when, when that challenge is... What the fucking am I saying? I have one new item in my inventory. Okay. Thank you, Steam. You can't see it, but it's there. Uh, that we know to give you the edge. Oh, it's loading. Hey, look, a sky. Hey, look, a classroom. Oh, look, she's wearing a uniform. Okay. Please introduce yourselves to the class. I am Irie Ramono. It's a pleasure to meet you all. I get a mumbled response from the class. They seem more interested in staring out the window and chatting amongst themselves and recognizing me. Only one person in the class of 20 shows some sort of interest. Boop. There's an open desk next to Ray Rue. Rue, let's call it, let's call them Rue. Okay, cool. 
Please have a seat. If you have any questions, Rue is the class president and can help you with any problems you may have. Okay. The only open seat is next to the boy with those sharp blue eyes that seem to bore into my soul. President, huh? He's the first person I need to knock off their throne. Fucking hell. Oh yeah! Hi, I'm Ari! I heard. So, you're the president? You're the best that the school has to offer? So they tell me. Do you have a problem with that? The cold response isn't what I was expecting. The icy glare in his eyes could have been more... Could... Would have... Me backpedaling if I was more cowardly. This is perfect! Okay. Yeah, I do! This is so awesome. All those heroes from the old westerns I saw always use that line. Everyone draws their six shooters and the duel begins! Good for you. Did... <laughs> Fucking eyes. <laughs> did, did he just ignore my challenge? I didn't think the identity of the arch villain of Maid Mentor so early. I'm the smartest person you're ever going to meet. I'm the best and brightest this world has to offer. Good for you. Your title as the best of this girl will be mine before the week's end. What do you think about that, Mr. President? You're welcome to try. If you have any problems or questions about the school, Mrs. Genius, let me know. I'd like to do that. Why can't I do that? There we go. He also has, like, fucking vampire fangs. Anyway. Why doesn't he rise to my challenge? Does he think that he can hold me back with his skills alone? That's stupid! Uh, before we start today's algebra lesson, we are going to have a pop quiz. Ari, you don't- I WANNA TAKE IT! The rest of the players in the class are looking at me like I'm crazy, but this is my first chance to to overthrow their leader. I gotta take it! Rue gives me a quizzical look. <gasps> oh god, but goes back to clearing the books off his desk without a word. That's right. I'm challenging you. Do I have to do the quiz myself? Oh shit. Okay, cool. Ten minutes later, I've crushed through the pathetic test. Seriously, this is easy. Seeing others struggle with it only brings more affirmity and affirmation on my brilliance. Except for Rue, who finished the whole 15 seconds after I did. Nobody even came close to touching me. Take that, brother. You did well, but only one of you managed to score a perfect on this exam. There's no surprise in that one. Of course not. The teacher walks back, handing the test to the students as she passes. When she gets to me, she starts with a bright smile on her face. A perfect score. You did remarkably well. Thank you. Rue. <gasps> wait, 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 what? You did very well too, Ari. 95 without studying the materials. Quite impressive. Uh, she takes my stunned look as one of shy what acceptance and continues delivering the test. May I please see your test? Dot, dot, dot. See what you did here? You accidentally carried the one to the wrong row. If you had slowed down and double checked your work, you would have had a perfect. SHUT UP! <laughs> I'm just trying to help. I don't want your help just because you won this round of the meaning of lost yet! Fucking Ari, this isn't a contest. His smug attitude isn't gonna sway me that easily. I will dethrone his monster and put myself at top. This is my new life mission. Leave me alone! If that is what you wish. I lost because of a foolish mistake on my part. No, Rue, this is not over. You're not by a long shot. <laughs> Class moves by quickly. My hopes for another attempt at dethroning Rue are dashed, but I do get several attempts to flaunt my brilliance by answering several questions correctly for the teacher. Rue seems content for now to let me have my way with the class. His warm smile as I answer question after question doesn't waver. This will be his foolish mistake soon. His class will be mine. I'm a little sorry that we had to be that he had to be the one I must overtake. He's smart, and his light brown hair gives him a sharp look. He'd have made a great minion. I glance up at the clock, seeing the hands bring about lunchtime. I could use a minion right now. I had to buy my lunch from the convenience store. Back at the Imperial Palace, a team of the finest chefs would make me three meals a day. I close my eyes and pretend that the dry turkey sandwich is a full five course meal of the best curry in India. Email classmate. Hi, Ari, what do I don't deal with peasants? I forgot her voice. What? Shoo! What a fucking bitch. Why am I this character? Fucking. The group of Gil and girls quickly dis dissipates. Uh, why would someone of my caliber waste their time with the riffraff? 
For a moment, I miss Kenta, my dedicated servant. A cheery guy with the fluffy blonde hair always has something good to share when we are away from the castle. I push him out of my mind. No, I am out here on my own. Uh, good food or not, I have to do make do entirely on my own, or I'll lose to Kichiro. At least my store-bought sandwich smells better than whatever Rue has. The smell of rotten eggs has wafted from his desk ever since the lunch hour began. Um, I'll bet he has an awful cook. Only someone with no skills in the kitchen can make something that smells so putrid. Wait, that's it! I get the feeling we might be a little too evenly paired in the match in history. Uh, in math and history to ensure his hand victory, but Ryu can't cook for it to save himself. I flip through the schedule to see what we have at home. An economics class in the second part of the day. I have to win there. Ugh, this is tiring. Ryu! Would you like some of my curry? No, you can keep the foul concoction. I hereby challenge you to a cook-off. Excuse me? Who heard me? I'm Friday. You and me are going to have a cook-off and home egg. For a moment, he looks like he's going to refuse my challenge again. Do you have a theme and wager already in mind? God am. Of course I do! The theme will be cakes! If I make a cake that the class likes more than yours, you have to step down as president and name me your successor. It doesn't work that way. Backing out already, coward! If you lose, you have to do one favor for me. Nothing perverted. Oh god, or of the like. But a favor of my choosing. You have no chance of winning at all, so I can get to you. Then we shake on it. I take his large, smooth hands in mine and grip them tightly. Damn! Ru radicates confidence. Uh, radiates, radicates, psh, radiates confidence, and I am perfectly happy with that. I like my rivals to have a little fire in them. So few people in the castle ever had that aura of competitiveness. They just accepted their inevitable defeat. I look forward to it. I hope we don't bring that goop to the vat! It smells atrocious! It's a spicy scallion and tomato mix I've been working on. Would you like some? Trying to poison me before the contest? I didn't think a president would be so devilish. <laughs> oh god. I don't think I'll have to resort to such tactics. Your confidence will be your undoing! I could say the same to you. I fight back a giggle. Maybe I understand that better than that. Rue could be a genuine opponent. Lunch is ending. I'll see you later, Ari. Till we meet again, my nemesis. Victory above my mind! If I can speak good. Dot dot dots. Is, uh, is this a loading thing? Is, this, is it a loading thing? I'm gonna click. I clicked. Okay. Victory may not be mine. For the first time in my life, I scored less than 90% on something. I almost failed. How was I supposed to know that what temperature you had to store milk at? Cause you're a fucking pitch. Um, I glanced at the small bandage they had to give me when I almost cut my pinky off. My pudding mix in that class was ruined long before the blood got into it. I'm confused. My lab partner was some snobby girl with a short black hair who wouldn't shut up no matter how much I told her I knew what I was doing. She kept sighing and trying to force me out of the way. There's no way some peasant could have done better than I, but seeing room in the corner wasn't reassuring either. He strode around that classroom with that aura of unparalleled confidence. I refused to try it, but Miss Snubby said it was delicious. I may have finally met my real match, yet for some reason I am greatly annoyed by this. I can't focus right now. Snap out of it, Ari. Ari, if you lose your head right now, you'll be done for long before Friday. You just need to get your head in the books and set up a plan. Gym class is in the final is the final class of the day, which is a welcome break after my horrid afternoon. Gym gives me a chance to release my stress stress with a little physical exercise. And I'm one of the best basketball players in the world, of course. While watching these plebs, a lesson in how oh what oh oh it says teaching, not watching. While teaching these lessons and but how to shoot worthwhile and over, I grab a ball and take a hoop by myself. I need time to think. Okay, I think to myself as I take the first three throw shot. I met my enemy today. He's both skilled and smart. This is his territory and his skill. That is not my best. The ball swishes without touching the rim. That's what a swish is. So, you know, there's no point in saying without touching the rim. That's what I need to do. A flawless shoot at Rue. Uh, that'll be a three layer cake with strawberry frosting from the far reaches of the world. It will be the most delicious thing that he'll ever have tasted. 
my cake will be awesome that I'll be lauded from Paris to San Francisco as the queen of baking. Okay. Um, all I need to do is look up a good recipe and it'll be mine. I toss out my ball again, nailing another free throw. Seeing the successful shots brings me strength to my conviction. I can do this. I wonder what crazy request Drew thinks he'll be able to get out of me. He promised that it wouldn't be anything perverted, so it will most likely be something petty like money. Kenta. Uh, uh, hey watch out. Is it, is it a, is it a dude? Um, it makes, it takes me a moment to realize that the voice is calling to me. By the time I turn around, a rogue basketball is hurling ball.